Sometimes I look in our culture and our society and I ask myself, God, why are blacks and whites, I mean the cultures are, don't understand one another? Why have we allowed this thing called race to keep us so divided and so separated to where everything is, is based on black and white in this country, pretty much? And um, I can look at some surface things, but I think a good word that God gave me is the word understand. Now, the word understand is a word that people can say, well, I comprehend. I got what you I got what you're saying. I, I, I'm getting it. I, I, I can I, in my mind, in my mind, I get the idea why you feel the way you feel. And yet when you talk to different uh, cultural differences in blacks and whites, they still ask questions like, why are those people like that? Don't they get it? Don't they know they've had the upper hand? Don't they really get it that we've had to struggle? Don't they get it that, man, it's not like it was then and there? I mean, why are you complaining? What do you want? And these are the basic general questions we have for one for another. And I'm like, God, why is this happening? Why can we cannot come together and simply understand one another? And then I began to do some study on my own on the word understand. And really the word understand is much deeper than something you get in your mind. It goes beyond that because the word understand literally means you must stand under another's point of view. You can't be stuck in your own point of view to get the totality of what you may need to understand about somebody else. Your situation was like this, and that's all you can see, so you speak from what you know or what you think. But if you go to somebody else's uh, perspective and you begin to speak from their perspective, along with their emotions, along with their sadness, along with their happiness, along with their confusion, along with them feeling all kind of ways, now, you can understand and you can have more sympathy but then I said Lord it's still deeper than that what is it that keeps black and white America from coming together we really we still have these deep-rooted thoughts in our minds and then the Lord says no it's down in the hearts of people not just the mind it's deep-rooted thoughts that are in the heart of the two cultures one about another Black people feel this way about something. White people feel this way about something. And we got to ask ourselves, well, how do we get past that? And then the Holy Spirit said, it's a spirit. It just came to me so strong. We are dealing with the spirit. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood. We're dealing with spirits. And we got to understand what spirit is tripping us up. What spirit keeps tripping us up from coming together and loving one another and really understanding one another and then the Holy Spirit was showing me that that, that the, the natural mind the carnal mind is at enmity with God the carnal mind is an hostility is hostile to God so when people look at one another with their carnal thinking it's a hostile act because uh, uh, is against something that's spiritual. It's a spirit that's dealing with us, that's causing us to be at odds continuously. And we've got to deal with the spirit. We've got to deal with the spirit that brings us to the place where we don't like one another. We continuously judge one another. We talk about they and them about one another. And we gotta we gotta fully understand that this thing is a spirit. In our carnal minds, just alone, we need the spirit to help us understand what spirit it is that we're dealing with. And the Lord let me know that the spirit that we're dealing with is the spirit that causes us not to empathize. It causes us not to sympathize. It causes us not to be a compassionate towards one towards another. And the bottom line is about love. 
it won't allow us to love. This spirit is bent on keeping us from truly understanding one another, from truly seeing, I get you, I feel you now. Not just with my thoughts, but I feel you in my heart. And that's where love starts. Black and white Americans, we've got to learn how to love one another. We've got to learn how to love one another because think about this. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, if, if we say that we love God, but we hate our brother, how can we love God when we have not seen? It's impossible. So the bottom line is this. Let us seek to understand one another. Let us change and swap the perspectives and, and try to reason and ask God to open up the mind of our heart so that we can love one another and have more compassion. And then we can silence that spirit that keeps the tension among us. That is all.